It's been almost 20 years since the first of many Fast and the Furious movies entered the public eye, leading to a renaissance for the sport compact car and engine market. And it's been almost as long since two friends, Luke Wilson and Josh Klein, started four piston cylinder heads in Danville, Indiana, as a way to fund their racing habit. The 12,000 square foot, seven employee shop focuses on cylinder head development and sport compact engine building with a heavy emphasis on Honda, but will also build Mitsubishi Evos, Nissan GTRs, and some Ford EcoBoosts. Recently, the shop got its hands on some Honda K20 C1 engines, which are better known as Civic Type R engines, and has been at the forefront of making big power out of these little engines. My name is Greg Jones, and I'm the managing editor of Engine Builder Magazine, and welcome to another episode of Engine of the Week. This video is sponsored by Pengrade. Precision, performance, Pengrade. Always the original green oil. And by L-Ring. Leading technology, leading service. The first year Four Pistons started building engines, the shop completed about 30 builds. Last year, the shop did 160 engines, and this year, Wilson estimates they'll do 200. While Four Piston Cylinder Heads does a lot of work on Honda K-Series engines, the shop recently started putting resources into further developing Honda's new Civic Type R K20 C1 engine. And according to Wilson, there's real potential behind this power plant. We bought two of the cars, we're building the engines. No one's seen that engine taken apart, let alone built into something substantial. And they're pretty weak from the factory, like we're, we're bending rods at 400 horsepower, which is unlike Hondas of the past. It's neat and it's new and no one's seen the stuff, you know, and it's a totally different approach. It's a direct injected turbo engine. It's the Honda that we're gonna be working with for the next 20 years, that's the reality. The K20 C1 is a direct injected turbocharged two liter engine that produces 306 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque from the factory. This engine is not only being utilized in on-road Honda Civics, but also purpose-built race cars, including F4 and F3 feeder series for the Climb to IndyCar, British Touring Car, IMSA, and many other forms of endurance racing. What Four Piston Cylinder Heads is doing is making the engine stronger and setting them up for higher output. The stock turbo can produce 400 pound-feet of torque at low RPM and over 400 horsepower. Two of the differences between the Civic Type R engine and Honda engines of the past are direct injection and a tumble port design in the cylinder head. This is where Wilson and Four Piston Cylinder Heads specialize. Hondas of the past 20 years have flowed 300 CFM. This thing flows 150, 160 CFM but it's got a big port. Um, it's, it's just a tumble port design, so it's got a big, sharp shear point right before the valve, like the EcoBoost, and it's just to create tumble so they can get this efficient fuel burn mm -hmm. in the chamber. But it really kills the flow. Well, one thing Honda did differently is they gave us a big-ass race port where the EcoBoost and some of these other engines are tiny little ports going to a little shear you know, before the valve to tumble the air. On the cylinder head, Four Piston removes some of the tumble port design for fuel economy and to increase airflow by 140 CFM without drastically increasing the port volume. This brings the power in a couple hundred RPM sooner and allows for around 20 horsepower in gains on the stock turbo, but at lower boost pressure. The shop also relieves some of the back pressure in the exhaust port, which becomes important when upgrading to larger turbos that will eventually exceed 600 horsepower. Four Piston replaces the valves with Ferreo valves to handle the extra exhaust heat and uses a higher pressure pack spring and titanium retainer for higher RPMs over the factory head, which runs out of steam before 7,000 RPM. According to Wilson, the market interested in these engines is going to be really, really excited about 400 horsepower, but his team isn't stopping there. We took the stock car, I put a Motec ECU on it, and we, we turned it up, and like it was easy to add 120 horsepower without touching any part of the car, you know, other than putting a computer in it, and I put a little bit of ethanol, like 30% ethanol, so pretty, and, and well over 400 foot-pounds of torque. Like It's pretty, pretty wild for a little engine, but it, they're different. The K20 C1 engine 
also has an offset crank in relation to the bore so that the piston is straight up and down when it's on a power stroke. For this build, Four Piston decided to use JE Forged Pistons, which have a thicker top, thicker pin boss area, and a tool steel wrist pin. The shop also used Sane's I-beam connecting rods, which are out of Argentina, since they're rated at over 800 horsepower and 100 grams lighter than the OEM rod. They also offer replacing the OEM sleeve with a ductile iron sleeve for larger bore size and use an O-ring for additional cylinder sealing. Due to the capabilities this new engine offers, Honda's been pushing the K20C1 for all kinds of racing applications, and four piston cylinder heads is positioned at the forefront for building the power plant well beyond OEM specs. These new turbocharged direct injected engines can make 800 to 1000 horsepower piece of cake. It might be compact, but it can deliver big power. Well, that does it for this episode of Engine of the Week. A special thanks goes out to our sponsors, Pengrade Motor Oil and L-Ring. And remember, if you have an engine you'd like to see featured, please email me at gjones at babcox.com. See you all next time.